What's brown and white and red about all over? This little ice cream sandwich. The media went gaga over Walmart's great value vanilla ice cream sandwiches. There was even a viral YouTube video, all because a Cincinnati mom worried something might be wrong after her son's Walmart ice cream bar purportedly didn't melt after a morning outside in 80 degree heat. She voiced concerns to her local news station. So I thought to myself, you know, what am I feeding my children? Consumer Reports set out to find the answer. Is there something unusual about Walmart's ice cream sandwiches that delays melting? What about other brands? In other words, what's the science behind ice cream meltage? Consumer Reports food scientists checked out five big brands, Klondike, Nestle, Walgreens Nice Brand, Blue Bunny, and Walmart's Great Value Ice Cream Sandwiches. They were brought to our patio in 100 degree heat. So what happened? The Nestle bar succumbed within 10 minutes. It took 15 minutes for the Klondike bar to waver, melting slightly at the corners. At 30 minutes, the Walmart, Walgreens, and Blue Bunny bars were soft but holding their shape. And at the end of an hour, the Walmart sandwich, seen in this time lapse next to the Klondike, still held together. What is behind the lack of meltage? To find out, the five brands were then sampled by Consumer Reports' expert sensory panel who had a common observation about all of them. So tell me about the texture of this sample. Without question, there are gums in this product. You can absolutely feel it in your mouth. Very big gummy, um, almost like a marshmallow. Higher quality ice creams melt clean on the mouth. This is notably gummy, and it has an almost foamy feel on the tongue. Three of the products, including Walmart's Great Value, Klondike and Blue Bunny had more of a foamy, marshmallowy feel to the panelists. Nestle and Nice Brands had the same textures, but to a lesser extent. Manufacturers add gums and other ingredients like calcium sulfate and mono and diglycerides to help control the melting rate of ice cream. They're also added to prevent large crystal formation when products are taken in and out of the freezer. Consumer Reports reached out to Walmart, who emailed that Ice cream with more cream will generally melt at a slower rate. They also pointed to this blog from the International Dairy Foods Association outlining what goes into an ice cream sandwich. Cream may be a factor, but we know that gums and these other ingredients definitely play a role in helping keeping these products from melting. Should you be concerned about giving gums to your kids? We're talking about FDA-approved additives. In the world of processed foods, these are common ingredients, so if your child is eating ice cream, soup, salad dressing, even some yogurt, they're likely eating some gums. And in the hands of the average kid, most ice cream sandwiches won't even have time to melt. <laughs>